In Genesis 50, God promises that what Satan means for evil, God uses for good. He takes Satan's tactical ripples of opposition and transforms them into tsunami waves of completion of his purposes. John Piper tells this story. He says, January 9th, 1985, there was a pastor named Haristo Kulichev. He was an evangelical pastor in Bulgaria, and he was arrested and put in prison. His crime was that he preached without government permission. His trial was a mockery of justice, and he got sentenced to eight months in prison. But during that time in prison, he made Christ known in every way that he could. When he, when he got out eight months later, he wrote, he said, both prisoners and jailers asked many questions, and it turned out that we had a more fruitful ministry in the prison than we could have expected in the church in normal circumstances. God was better served by our presence in prison than if we had been free. Friend, this is often God's way. Piper says the global scope of, and seriousness of the coronavirus is too great for God to waste. God is gonna use it for a great advance of the mission. Summit, I've started to pray that we will see coming out of this a movement of people out of our church toward the mission field like we have never seen before, that hundreds of us will, 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 will use this shaking to sense the urgency of the Great Commission, the desperate condition of our world. And we will uproot our lives if that's what God is telling us, to take the gospel to the places that most need it. Is he perhaps calling you? I mean, can you sense that perhaps even right now? Would you at least be willing to pray with me about this over the next several weeks?